A torrent of mud swept through towns west of the capital, Athens, leaving a trail of destruction. A state of emergency has been declared in the region. Well, for more on this story, we're joined by the journalist Maria Kakikelidou in Athens. And Maria, the fatalities have been rising all day. Paint a picture for us of what the emergency services are having to deal with. Well, there's currently uh, 14 people declared dead. There is at least one more person missing. 14 people um, have been hospitalized. One of them is currently in critical condition. Now, as you said, um, the streets of this Athenian suburbs were flooded with mud. There was a lot of rainfall, um, around 70 centimeters of rainfall, and this meant that uh, the streets ended up uh, completely flooded. There were cars that were um, practically covered um, by water, and uh, there were many, many shops and businesses, many homes that have been completely destroyed. Um, people here are talking about a biblical catastrophe, and uh, they're very, very shocked. As you said, the uh, um, uh, fatalities have been rising all day, so when they first woke up, most Greeks didn't realize what exactly had happened. They thought we had a few isolated um, casualties in, in some sort of freak weather occurrence, but as the day progressed, We've seen these numbers reaching double digits, and there are now concerns about what will happen if more rain um, falls tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, because this rain has actually been falling all week, hasn't it? Have there not been precautions taken at all, or did this just come completely out of the blue today? Well, um, I think there was a lot of heavy rainfall, and people are talking about extreme weather events. However, uh, locals are also complaining that not enough to, was done to provide these areas with anti-flooding defences. They're also complaining that um, problems have been reported about a local dam and that nothing was done about this. And on top of that, um, it's very common in Greece to have building irregularities. It's uh, very common to have uh, homes built on streams, for example. So uh, it's possible that a, a confluence of all these factors had something to do with this. Uh, what is certain is that now um, the local prosecutor has taken the case over and they're investigating to see what exactly happened and how come so many people lost their lives.